This video is going to be showing the proper positioning for the avian radiograph. We're going to be doing both the um, whole body ventral dorsal view and the whole body lateral views. Before we get started, I will let you know that you can barely see it, I, but I am wearing a lead apron, a thyroid shield, a dissimeter badge, and will be wearing gloves when needed. Um, that is me closest to the film in the camo um, lead apron, which y'all have seen before. Um, to do the ventral dorsal view, we measure at the thickest point in the chest in the VD position and then secure the wings down on each side with tape. The, a doctor in my practice recommended using gauze underneath of the tape to uh, prevent the feather removal at the time that we take the tape off. Um, then we're going to go into the lateral view um, and place the patient in lateral recumbency and secure the neck, the legs, and the wings down with tape. The wings are going to be extended dorsally um, above and away from the patient uh, to get a clearer view of the chest. Um, the collimation is very important when, when working with birds, um, but however it is hard to do since they're all kind of one overall view instead of looking at one particular um, piece of the bird. Of course the hand that is holding the mask um, should be out of the um, not only the beam but as far away from the beam as possible and gloved. Um, unfortunately the person I was working with was not wearing them but I do know the importance of wearing them and um, whoever watches the video should know that they should have been worn and out away from the primary beam as far as possible.